What I loved most about the salon was how surprised I was by myself pretty much every day mm -hmm. and um, the constant uh, it wasn't a roller coaster. It was like a, um, because I had agency, uh, it was like horse, horseback, like bear horseback ride that happened the whole time um, that I got to uh, just like have my hair blowing back in complete ecstasy and sometimes fear and sometimes excitement and sometimes confusion and sometimes disorientation um, the whole time. And that led me to uh, just beautiful, delicious um, and empowering results. Mm -hmm. What would you say, like to speak to results, whether you want to talk about it in the form of results or learnings or insights, um, but what were the biggest takeaways for you, both personally and professionally? Um, biggest takeaways personally, these, these are the takeaways that were most surprising to me. Mm -hmm. um, because when I stepped into it, I was expecting it to be more of a professional endeavor. Mm -hmm. uh, but I healed my relationship with my family, especially my mother. Mm -hmm. And that isn't even anything that I ever brought up in the salon itself. But I used tools, some of the communication tools that we used, and also um, a lot of understanding that I came um, of myself and my own history and where I came to my shadows reflected a lot on my family and I was able to open to them with complete compassion a whole new perspective mm. and then um, my relationships uh, <laughs> uh, well <laughs> the um the sex is phenomenal. I say this every time anybody asks me about the salon. <laughs> I'm like, and the sex. Um, really, uh, I, and I, I say this because it's, it's a, it's, that is a very profound thing for me because I uh, have trauma, past trauma and um, coming to a place where sex isn't, feeling nothing or pain, but beyond pleasure and connection, deep, deep connection mm. and connection, not only to my partners, but also to the divine mm. and also to myself and my body and um, really loving my body and, and honoring it as a temple. And um, I've come to a really grounded place and also with uh, my like people I work with, like it's just like filtered out um, mostly from the communication work, the intentional dialogue, and um, and also things like simple things like breath the connection of breath in, in relation to someone. If I'm just with them breathing, I find that a lot of transformation can happen um, in, in the way that I'm relating to them. Mm. And then professionally, uh, I didn't know where I was going to be heading, but I knew that somehow this work would affect it. And um, I really see a place for myself in, um, in bringing this work to individuals or groups of people. Um, and I love this language that you all use of like finding your own song, your own harmony. And I, I feel like I've started to find that through this salon. I'm finding my voice. 
Um, but I like it. I like thinking of it as a song because it's like there's something that I'm creating that has like instruments and harmonies and melodies and, you know, its own momentum. Uh, and I can feel that and I have a sense of what it is. And then also in my teaching and in other things, um, it has completely filtered into that work. Um, stuff that has nothing to do with intimacy, uh, teaching acrobatics, for example. Mm. Um, just the, the way now that I can hold space for my students and everything that shows up for them, and which a lot of that shows up in acrobatics. Mm. Um, they get, you know, they reach fear points and and I can be there for them uh, without uh, even maybe them knowing that it's happening, um, that I can energetically and just with my, um, my awareness and things that I've developed in the salon can, can bring a lot to them. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, what would you say to that person who's, trying to decide right now whether they should do the salon or even whether to apply. Like, what would you say to that person who's at the choice point? Like, should I apply for the salon? Uh, apply. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> D just filling out the application did so much for me mm. is like having to answer the questions opened a lot in me. And, and I knew as I was filling it out, like it was like from the beginning to the end, by the time I got to the end, I was like, Oh, I want to do this. Mm. Um, I kind of convinced myself. So I think just filling out the application is, is already a huge um, factor in making a decision. And then um, deciding about doing it, I, I guess I'd just say, um, if you want transformation, like if you want to transform your relationships and your yourself and your career or your relationship to your career. Like if you want like wholehearted transformation, then there's no question. You have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you kind of answered this in that a little bit, but, but the next question is like, who should, what, what type of person or who is the person who should do this one? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think it's it's somebody who is um, is is kind of flirting with the idea of of like opening to something different, but maybe doesn't know what that is. Like, oh, I I think I could use something different in my in my sex life, or I could use something different in my the way I'm relating to my clients, or there's just something something different that like some new tools for my my relationships or my relationships with family or partners or like just that like that I don't know. I feel it I really felt it like a flirtation. Mm. It was like Mm, there's just, I just feel like I, yeah, I'm, I feel, I felt really grounded mm. and satisfied in my life. Like without it, I would have been fine. Mm. Um, but just having that little bit of a feeling, I, everything turned around mm. in powerful ways. Um, but I, you have to really want it. Mm. I, I don't think this is for somebody who, has like strong resistance to um, the the language that you all are putting out about the salon. Um, if if there's yeah like a really really strong wall there, I don't think this is for you. Well, that was the last question. Who should? <laughs> Sorry, answered it. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody else who shouldn't do it? Creepers. <laughs> I don't know it could be good for a creeper. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nicolette. Thanks.